so hi all uh, good morning good evening so in the our last class we were discussing about loop and read statements and uh, what i saw after recording that last few minutes were not recorded properly especially the read statements were not properly so we will we will try to capture our read statement so loop i hope i'm very much clear when i explain so but anyway i will uncomment and i will just show you here again so that in if there is any issue with the recording you can capture it here so we were talking about the internetable loops loop with uh, header line uh, with header line and without header line how we do it so same way read also we can use it for with header line and without header line table so without header line we have to give explicit work area into this and with header line we don't have to give here and here i was using like uh, where condition i can use where condition or without where condition so we are checking the output for these things so let's see it's active i will just uh, Okay, activate and I will just execute and I will show you the output. Okay, so actually what I have done that I have converted it to parameters, the house number and user number. So you see, all the house number it is greater than 100 is appearing. So LTADDR2, LTADDR, all the outputs are coming, address found. And that so w what are all those things we will explain. I will go and quickly explain to you because this we have covered in the last session. So I don't want to waste much time on this one. Okay, so what I am doing here, I am putting loop. Uh, this statement ends here actually if you want you can end it here and comment these things and then it will print all the uh, whatever is the value in this table it will print everything okay and it will be it will go through all the iterations but if i put where condition it will go only where this where condition is criteria satisfied wherever the house number is 100 okay or greater than 100 so not 100 it is greater than 100 not even 100 okay so 200 house number is there sorry 103 is there 102 is there, 200 uh, and 100 is there, so these two will not get picked, and only third and fourth entry will get picked. So and then site of its value will depict which entry has been picked. Okay, so it will show you that thing. So let's uh, for the time being I will comment this parameter thing which I have given. That is for each statement I have done. Okay, so let's comment that parameter that is appearing on the screen. Okay, and activate. So first we will clarify loop and then we will go to read. So you see third and fourth has come up and here one, two, three, four because there is no where condition on the second loop. So everything is getting printed here only those where the house number is greater than 100, 102 and 103 these are appearing. Okay. Here less than 100 also appearing. So you can apply the same condition in the below table as well. Okay. Here and uh, e without header with header line also there also you can put the same condition. So we can use the same field and you can execute, you see, third and fourth entry got picked here also for LTADDR2. So you can compare the results this way. So where condition you can have multiple fields here and all. So I will just comment this loop, okay. And site fix you saw it shows the iteration in which iteration you are. And one more thing, sorry, one more thing I, will, I think discussed. I declared here one variable, let's say data LT, LV underscore generally data declarations everything we do at top okay at one place we don't do, uh, if, while writing the code we don't declare uh, there and then there itself we don't declare the data but i'm just writing it's not a good practice okay so just i have declared something called site avix so why i have declared like something called site avix you'll see when you click on this one now so site avix is a variable which already exists generally all the system variables which we use sy hyphen uh, sub bar c so it's a data element type will be uh, you just remove the hyphen that will be its data element if i have declared something of that type and i want to collect the value of site fx into ltadtr sorry into this variable why i am already this variable is holding the value still i am why i am copying another into another will because what will happen let's say after this loop there is some read statement here read statement or another loop is there instead some other table so what happens site site fx is a single variable at uh, table level sorry at uh, system level okay single variable which will hold the value so it will get overwritten by that read statement or loop statement in that at whatever is the let's say for one address there are multiple people information are there so you want to fetch that so you will put let's say loop into loop that is not a good practice that we will discuss later loop inside loop okay we will use parallel cursor something called to enhance the performance so what will happen here if we will do the loop inside loop so the site of value will change according to the inside loop again uh, once we will hit that loop and after that if we don't want to write this uh, external loops value external table value then this site of will not hold the value which was here 
okay so so we are collecting that value in a local variable so that even if set of x will change this value is already assigned to previous value is already sent to some variable and then we will use here lv tab x okay instead of that we will use lv tab x here and then this is just to hold in case in between this these three lines if i have written let's say that there are a number of lines of code is there something some codes are there which is setting the value of site of x okay it may be read statement it may be a mm, loop statement within that loop so that is the reason we are using site of x lv tab x okay and then also you see the result will be same three four and uh, everything will same because lv tab x is holding that value even if you change the site of x value here by any standard step it will lv tab x will hold the value and this is how we use. so that i wanted to show let's come out of this one i think this is repetition but still what we can do i'm not sure what all has gone wrong with the recording okay didn't get time to watch the recording and uh, if i just saw it then there were some issues so now coming to the read statement so what if i just want to check if a record exists in the table or not or what if i want only a particular line of record for which i know the house number and the flat number i know but i want other details so what i will do so either i can hard code here but generally i will take those input from the users okay so i have declared it as a parameter here okay p house number and p flat number these are the key fields for these all the house address you see those that combination is unique for all those records okay and i will read that okay read that table lt address into ls underscore resd i will explain what are those things these things okay let it be and with key with key house number equal to with key sorry house number equal to you can give the hard coded value or you can give p underscore whatever the coming from the screen so we are going with coming from the screen and second was flat number okay f l a t n o equal to p underscore flat number okay so now I'll show you and what i want i want to display all the record along with below that i want to write a message that okay this address found so whatever the address they will give we will not try to find so p flat number is unknown p flat i think t is there missing so just again activate okay now it's activated just execute now you give the house number let's say 204 it will give you address not found okay no address found now we will give house number that combination does not exist in that table that's why internet so now you see address came and address found message came at the end okay so as you can see this part got executed and when we first time we executed with how flat number 204 and house number 100 this part got executed so based on the size of rc value what is this size of rc value doing this size of rc value is showing the debugging mode when we provide the value are 100 and we provide 204 that is wrong value well, this does not exist then what will happen you will see when the read statement okay when the read statement hits this table internal table with these key values you see double click on this parameter what all we have given from the screen it will appear here on the right hand side you can see 100 and 204 we have given it is reading this table with that value and it is not able to find so size of rc is set to 4 okay system variable this define defines the success of the previous ABAP statement that i told you earlier right so it is not successful it has failed to find any record with the matching this condition so it is set to 4 and site abix here site abix whenever you are doing the table operations you will get site abix will also get set with some value so here site abix set to 0 because that no record has been found site abix will show the iteration you are going to hit uh, in a loop which iteration is running and in read statement where that you have found the record it will depict that so you have not found any record for this key so it will not showing any record so it will sh now if you do f4 it will f5 it will go to this one statement it will write this in the output screen and you are done this is you will get but when you do 203 correct record and then you execute you will see size of rc will be 0 earlier it was 4 now it will be 0 it will go to desktop 3 view okay, it comes side by side 0 and now site avx value you will check you see site avx is set as 2 and this will get printed in the output okay and now it is coming in the output
press F9 by mistake you have to press F8 or you have to press this button here to continue come out of debugger so it is showing everything set of access to you see it has found it second position this record is they have found it second record you can see the second record that we added B sorry we have sorted it so whatever is the based on sorting whatever is the second record so after 90 it's 100 so 100 is appearing okay sorting so this is how read statement work and size of rc works and in that i wanted to show you one more thing that what are these things using index so this is using parameters key you are reading you can read the table with index also let me show you how just remove that and use index statement index and give an index which particular record nth record you want to read and uh, in you want to read it in the work area and then you just uh, specify the work area and then activate and then fourth record i want to read okay doesn't matter what value i give now it's no, of no use because it will always pick fourth record you see fourth record it has picked set with fourth and it is displaying the fourth address house number 103 this is 200 flat number Aparna galaxy let's see fourth record is this one right Aparna galaxy house number 103 and this it is picking from the internal to fourth record so index so that's what it is that uh, selection screen is a waste then we are not going we have hard coded which record we are going to pick so that is one thing using index you can read any table now one more thing if you want to read the record but you don't want to uh, see those records you don't want any output any kind of what we just want a validation if that record is there or not fourth record is there or not okay let's comment this okay and then you don't want to so why do we need this work area we don't need this work area in that case okay so let's control d and let's comment this one and let's remove this work area thing okay i want to read that uh, just the fourth record okay i don't want to uh, fetch the record i just want a validation if the fourth record exists or not if i check the center it will show you a syntax error why because whenever using read statement you have to assign it to some work area but if you don't want to assign a work area, you don't want to fetch any value you just want to check then you have to give transporting no fields this uh, clause you have to add at the end transporting no field now syntax check will give you success okay now activate the code and then execute it will show you address found or not whatever you give or not give doesn't matter because we are, you are using index address found okay and if i will give let's say index 5 i will give fifth record i want to read which is not there in the table right there is no fifth record only four record are there so if i will execute it will give you no address found because size of rc has failed you have, it has not found any fifth record okay or you can uh, apply this for key also instead of this you can use this for key also with key as we did earlier house number equal to p underscore h number and then flat number okay here we give the table field names okay house number is table field name and flat number is table field name and then equal to on the right hand side of the equal to we give uh, the from which we want to compare okay so p flat number okay generally we write one below another so that it will distinguish one field by another field like that okay it will it looks good this way you can keep it in one line also by giving spaces doesn't matter you don't have to put any comma or anything to segregate multiple fields okay so now i just want to check if that uh, field house number or whatever i am giving on the screen that exists or not that i want so i will give 100 i will give 204 so it will give you no address found i will give 203 that exists flat number 100 and 203 it exists sorry flat number 203 and house number 100 a combination exists okay so th that's how read works okay then uh, we were discussing like uh, we discussed something called uh, using index we have read already where condition we have seen already okay and then what else what else what else we need to discuss uh what else what else what else types of internal table i believe okay so types of internal table we were discussing index hashed and sorted that we saw in the ppt okay in uh, sorry index and hash table and then standard sorted and hash table so these are the three main internal table types okay so for that i requested you guys in that video i'm not sure if you got recorded or not to refer to google types of internal table in SAP ABAP okay 
just go this you see standard table sorted table and hash table okay so where you can see in the system these things you remember we declared one table we declared one internal table with uh, type uh, table type okay so in that table type when you will go I have opened a table type here that we have used no I don't want to change so you see in the table type that we defined earlier using line type okay in that we had something called initialization and access here you see okay you see here standard sorted hash index everything is there right so here we define let's say sorted okay and then you have to define some key here okay some keys you have to define and then you have to define secondary key so what happens when you click on sorted and then you define an internal table of type this okay so whenever you are inserting a record in that internal table it will automatically sort okay it will automatically sort and sit in the position let's say we had this internal table here uh, that we were coding right so if this should have been a sorted table we don't have to use the sort statement first of all here if I declare a LT ADDR type sorted table of LT YDDDR LT YDDR whatever it is okay so still it will or uh, automatically it will sort the entries after inserting okay so whenever we are appending the values or inserting the values in it it will automatically sort those so it's not right optimized when we are writing it's it first find out where it needs to sit next record it check the index key fields and then compares and then insert the record but while reading it is very beneficial because we can apply binary search you know how binary search works so just search uh, read with binary search read with binary search in a web okay so read with the binary search in a web we can do it here also but generally we use it for large number of when large number of records are there in table we don't use it for small number okay we use it we use it for large number so here you can add uh, binary search then that's it before the period just add binary search clause here so what binary search does let's say you have a entry like uh, you have one one thousand entries in a table when you are reading with key what it will do it is already sorted for binary search table has to be sorted that is the condition otherwise it will give you some wrong result okay it will not work as expected what it does it uh, divides the list b at between okay it will divide the list into two part 500 and and 500 1 to 1000 if you are looking for let's say some key with value 600 okay so what it will do it will check this its last value it will check and its first value it will check okay if it is less than the last value of this one then it will discard these values it, it will not check in these things and it, let's say you are searching for 300 so it will come in this part then again it will divide it into two part 1 to 250 and then 250 to 251 to 500 it will divide it into two part chunks okay that's how binary search work and then it will compare your 300 you are searching okay that falls in this range okay so it will discard this first range it will go away and then it will check in this one then again it will divide that list into half and then it goes on and on and on uh, and then it will find that entry so that's how binary search works it's very efficient in case of large number of records okay so that's how we use uh, read using binary search and you have to make sure that it is sorted and the fields on which you have sorted you use those as key fields that would be uh, great so usually we use key fields in the binary search so here you define the table types and then use this table type as internal table there you can define as type uh, then you don't have to define a sorted or standard or anything it will by default it will pick the type from here okay table type it will pick or if you in code you want to define then you have to write here the type uh, that you have declared type standard table there you write type sorted table of whatever type hash table we generally don't use okay just just google and compare okay all three what are the internal table difference between the internal table okay there's something else uh, difference among all three internal tables okay you see here you'll see something on sap.com only okay somebody might have explained very well okay standard table the key access to a standard table is user sequential search okay it's a type of index so obviously it will search as index based on index the time required to access is in linearly dependent on the number of entries if it has huge number of entries it will take huge number of time it's directly dependent on that you should usually access a standard table with index operation okay like index something index 4 i wrote using read statement right that's very efficient it will directly go and hit that particular record it will pick when you are using sorted internally you sort it by key then better you use binary search okay not index and use binary search okay 
so here you see key access to the sorted table can therefore use a binary search if the key is not unique the entry with the lowest index is accepted okay so let's say multiple value it found so whatever is the lowest index the first entry it hits it will return you that one the time record x is logarithmic dependent on the number of entries of the table i don't know divide into divide into divide by two all it goes on so that's a logarithmic scale something it follows so log log you might have studied in a college and all okay i'm not going to that just explain what hash table is something internally managed with a hash procedure all the entries must have a unique key in this one it there will be no repeated key entries here it will have a unique key okay time required to x the required for a key access to is constant because you will have key and it will take uh, just like using key or so you cannot access hash table with an index there so there is no index so you you have to use key property okay so you accesses must use generic uh, key operation sort loop etc this i'm not able to understand okay so hash table you generally don't use day in day out so i'm not that much comfortable with that so you have to do your r and d on that i just showed you these are the three things you have to copy the differences you have to remember the differences between these three and mostly we use standard and sorted okay so that's the uh, that's it that's the p uh, that's where we draw the line okay we are not going to dig deep into that so let's get back to the next topic uh, next thing we are going to discuss that uh, we left out in our previous session uh something called describe statement i didn't explain you right so describe statement uh, for an internal table we use something called describe okay just uh, see here i'll show you uh here you write describe why oh, it's not coming lt addr okay you have to write describe table table lt addr okay then you have to give line i uh occurs j okay here i think into something we have to use uh, one sec uh, press f1 what it does actually when you do describe a lt addr table and uh, use with line statement you see the whatever is in the square bracket these are alternate thing it can be used together or separately as well so describe table i tab lines i okay lines l some variable you declare okay you have to declare this variable above of type int or something you have to declare okay so first you have to declare then it will hold the number of record that is if you want to find out how many records are there in this table say only so you can do this and then you can write that value okay so describe statement set some system variable also okay when you use describe it set some system variable like site toku site field site length okay everything it gets sets okay by the describe table statement okay so let's see let's do one thing what i will do instead of getting this uh, let's uh, where is the example there has to be example also right describe table item kind data type kind if type kind is equal to side is uh, kind standard or something so there are many uh, like variables which get uh, what you call uh, which get set when we use this statement okay occurs and determine the initial memory requirement defined using the initial size of the obsolete statement occurs obsolete addition you see this occurs and everything is obsolete so that when we do uh, data type begin of we did occurs zero occurs and you were writing so 8 kb of memory was getting allocated right for this table when you will do describe i tab table i tab occurs uh, occurs n so n will hold the value 8 kb whatever the memory whatever is allocated to it okay so those are like obsolete so let's see what i will do i will print these things system variables right uh slash sai to ku then sai t fill i think these are the variables which get filled okay number it shows you say i think number of rows it will show you and then say t length say t length sometimes they will ask in interview describe statement what does it do or how, what all things it uh, holds like that total value it, it holds sets okay let's see i think t length is not t length is there okay 
tlang tlang right and side t field is correct i think okay so let's do and let's execute activate it and execute uh let's execute okay see zero four and six sixty four so our table is not uh like with uh occurs statements because it's showing as zero okay and then four is uh, and uh, that number of entries in that internal table and then this is uh six sixty four is the size allocated to it okay so uh, length of it okay what i will do let's uh do one thing two things we will do one we will comment this chandni chalk there it should impact the length of it i believe okay street we will okay street we will comment so everywhere now i have commented in that here so everywhere it will give error if you don't remove it because the type of which it is referring to it doesn't have a street feel now so i have to comment everywhere so now i have commented and i am going to remove one record also let's say comment this entire record okay so so now those values should change okay so t length should change okay you see length has changed and number of records still showing four uh, y i think blank line is getting inserted ha ah, append i have not commented so append also you have to comment otherwise it will insert a blank line okay and if you have not cleared the work it is so previous entry will again get reversed so now it will show you three okay number of three and size is 156 because we have removed the one field right so it will take less call number of columns that means less space okay so based on that length of those columns uh, like how many character numeric uh, it contains it shows that okay so let's put it back everything will do it back so that's what describe statement does okay now if i'll try to activate without uh, uncommenting this it will give you error because that is not in the parent structure okay what is it so now we have discussed this now coming to the next part free refresh clear and delete there are four ways to uh, clear the internal table entries okay so what i will do free refresh thing spelling is correct clear and then delete so what are all these things what is the difference between these all so you have to write refresh i tab clear i tab what is the difference okay what it does free statement it remove it uh, actually uh, all rows it deletes and then all the memory used by the body of the internal table is freed so that we do at the end generally when our all program is done at the end we free all the memories occupied by the uh, internal tables that we use free statement or we use and all the header line if the header line exist it does not get impacted okay so by free statement header line will still hold the value it will not get impacted only the table rows or data are deleted header line does not get if there is no header line then it's good it doesn't exist at all okay so then it comes the refresh so refresh in the case of refresh what happen all rows are deleted all memory used by the body of the internal table remains allocated so in this case data is deleted but memory remains allocated okay so memory doesn't get free so the header lines if exist remains unchanged again it does not have impact header line refresh statement okay so that is the thing so better use free because it will free the memory also then we have clear statement which will delete all the rows from an internal table and leave the memory allocated it behaves something like refresh but it behaves differently on the header line actually refresh does not affect the header line but it impacts the header line when you use header line okay so it will clear the entry of the header line okay and sets the field to zeros or blank whatever is the initial value and delete statement we use to delete uh, a specific record let's say delete i tab uh, where uh, house number is greater than this okay so what i will do i will show you delete statement one use here so if i will uh, after this i will use clear statement now clear if i will say clear i uh, lt addr it will not print anything okay we have in read mode so you can use clear 
L T A D T R. So whatever value you will give on the screen, it will always say address not found because nothing is maintained now or everything is cleared. Okay. So now you will see the difference. It's clear on table with header line and without header line. You see this record was existing 100 and 203 combination, but it will say no address found because this is done. And see number of rows was zero. You see no no rows available in that table because I have cleared it. Okay, now if you ch if I change it to LT ADDR two whenever looking at right, let's let's uncomment these things, and we will see the output. Okay, here we are looping uh, house number and all the stuff. So here I was using LT ADDR. Here what I will do I will do clear clear LT AD. If you remembered LT ADDR is a table with header line. So tell me what will happen now. If I will use this statement, will this loop run? Here I have cleared the data from LTDR, nothing will get printed. But here I have not cleared the LTDR table, I am clearing the work area here only. Okay, so what will happen? It will still show the entry from the second table. Whatever will execute, it should show the entry. What happened? LTDR 2, why oh, it is like this? Okay, LTD nothing, no record is getting over. We have to move this statement above actually before uh, clearing data from LTADDR. Sorry, before clearing the data from LTDR, we have to do this. We have to first copy data to it and then we have to clear from LTDR. But LTADDR2 now will hold the data, right? So we'll just execute, you'll see LTADDR2 is printing two records. It is having those four and based on where condition it is printing two records. Why? Though I have used look. I have used clear LTADDR, it is not printing anything, it is all data from LTADDR1, but from LTADDR2, I have used clear statement, but nothing is gone, because this statement works on only header line. You have to give this to clear the data from table, in the table with header line. That's, that's the difference of behavior of clear on table with header line and without header line. Now you see, no data will come. Okay, now we have cleared from everywhere. So, in similar way, you can try for refresh and free and all those things. You won't be able to see any differences in the system until unless you go in debugging mode and check the memory allocations of those table. So, let us uh, let it be. You can just theoretically, you can remember. Just go through the theory on the internet. Just find something, good uh, differences and everything. And then just remember it by heart. Okay. I will remove this clear statements. So, we have seen that. Then delete, we will see. Delete index something okay let's say delete lt addr where house number is equal to 100 now you see house number 100 record i am deleting from lt addr okay sorry i think i have to use equal first of all this field is and we have to use comparison operator not the assignment operator okay so it will activate now so you see you see the difference I will show you 100 house number I have deleted so I will try to find 100 and 203 combination or it will not show no address found you see here no address found okay and all data is coming from like other tables LTADDR is coming but 2 3 house number other thing so this ignore the table thing just see the upper one read statement is failing because it is not finding that but if I will comment this and then I will show you the output, it will say address found at the top. Okay, it will say address found. 203 will be found because house number is 100 and you see address found that is not deleted. Okay, so we can delete using a where index and we can put a delete this index 1, index 2. Instead of where condition, you can write index and all. So these are all DML operations that will require operations, right? Insert, uh, create, uh, read, update, delete, those kind of operations we are doing here. So all follow the same kind of where and uh, index thing that we had in read, same we have in delete also. Then we will have modify also. Okay, so modify should be also there. So now we will see uh, something called control break structure. So what is control break structure statements in SAP ABAP? Okay, and let me tell you this uh, session will not be that long, like one hour, ten minutes, fifteen minutes will be within one hour, and uh, then I will record some video later again. Okay. So and uh, just to tell you guys, like uh, my previous video is already published on YouTube, so that is with the name ABAP ten. 
okay and just to search for it or if you, you have already subscribed to my channel so you'll get notification if you have already clicked on the bell icon so please do subscribe like and share with your friends and everyone whenever you can okay and uh, your uh, support gives me uh, encouragement to record more and more videos so that's a great uh, feeling and I keep recording and I keep I, as I promised earlier I will uh, deliver entire ABAP session for free and, and that's a promise okay I will we will complete a ABAP course together okay just stay with me hang on tight there might be some delays in between because I'm also an employee and a uh, lot of work and I also do a lot of studying and myself and I am currently learning theory and UF I'm planning to bring those as well later if when I am comfortable with okay and but um, I will try to make everything is free okay at least a web sessions that everything are free and later if uh, I will see uh, how it goes for UI5 and uh, Fury that I need to see or that I won't promise I will promise what I will be delivering okay I will be delivering a web to you okay so let's go to something called control breaker statement so my favorite tool Google control break statements in a map okay see so control break statement what happens that in a loop it will break the flow okay it will break the flow it will manipulate the flow that is the control break statement so for that we use few statements called uh, at first uh, in that okay so control break statement I will write yeah, let's say save it I'll take another text box okay control break statements generally these are used in the loops okay I think control spelling is spelling is wrong I believe let's see hmm. control break statement we have something called at first and and it ends with and at statement like if and if uh, ends with end if similarly at first end with at uh, end at at last again it ends with same and that okay then we have at new again it ends with uh, and that and then we have at end of okay then we have and at okay then we have on change of on change of okay so it's it's uh, end on like uh, end on it's end is end on it ends with end on okay what are these things and what does end new at new at first end that does okay in the system so at new what it does let's go to our back to our I'll save this and we'll go to our web code okay let's close this unnecessary session okay and we will uh, go to loop part I will remove this where condition and whatever it is because we don't need these things so there are some scenarios where you want to uh, loop the records okay let's comment this things as well don't need this we don't need describing uh, output is not appearing properly that is my problem that is the only issue I'm facing okay so what happens in sometimes you want to change the logic as soon as some value changes in the program you want to gather the data wherever the house number is same you want all the records together or something like that okay you want to sum up all the let's say you have uh, a, a table holding multiple records for one person okay his expenses one row says that his expenses on furniture his expenses on uh, uh, household activities his uh, expenses on uh, cab three align items are there in the internal table for the same person and then again three four four other person then again three four four other person right so it is something like let's say let's launch excel okay okay let's say cancel. okay and here uh, let's say I have a person number 900 again I have same guy <laughs> then I have 901 someone with this ID 
okay and now his expenses are there like let's say i will give some one serial number i will give this will make a key field okay serial number is entered so one and this combination is a unique entry so this is a key okay this will form a key we can give a phone number also as unique id something we have to uniquely identify the record so this number doesn't identify the record uniquely right because it is repeated three times but this combination is only one so this is key of the table these two combination okay so now you will see his expenses i will say let's say car expense let's say uh, household expense then school expense okay similarly other guy also has is having some kind of expense expenses and hotel expense let's say okay and then we have how much he is uh, spending he is spending 100 rupees on this one case then he is spending 100 here 100 here and he is expending 150 rupees and 120 rupees uh i will copy just to make it fast okay so now we have two entries in this record okay we'll go and we'll make it hard. okay so i have two guys and what i want in the output these many records are there i just want to see the total expense okay i don't want to see what he's spending on i don't want to see anything there can be n number of columns reasons whatever it is okay but i just want to see total expense how much he's is expending on this okay i will give expense column okay and this is item on this is person number okay so i want to see as soon as so what i will do i will loop through this table and what i will do as soon as till the person is this one okay i will keep adding this column expense column and as soon as the person ends i will print that output okay so in this kind of scenario, then again i will start the summing of from here at new employee when new employee starts i will start summing this uh, expenses so i will show you with this reference so we have something called house number and uh, plot number uh, sorry flat number so i will create multiple record for the same house number and we will try to achieve this okay let's see and we will try to add their flat numbers which is not a uh, business scenario but it is something linked to what i have shown you right so let's say house number will keep used as a key field and we will use it as a like uh, add up the root values so i will give 202 203 and then can have another entry of same house number 204 and then let's take the house number 102 okay and control paste it and i will give 201 and then again paste it i have created multiple entries okay 205 let's say so i have 102 ka 1 2 3 entries and if you see the sum is 204 plus 201 plus 200 5 how much it should 200 uh, 205 plus 205, 410 410 plus 2 600 it should come as sum as 600 against 100 to some should of flat number should come as 600 similarly for 90 also it should come as something okay so we will see using now control break statement how we will achieve that okay and how it impacts the other fields okay mm -hmm. let's see loop we have we are writing it okay so now i will put a statement called at new okay at new just please hold on for a moment i need to bring a glass of water i'm feeling thirsty sorry about that i'm back now okay so at new and then you have to give a column name at new what on what i say at new house number okay at new house number 
and uh, just I will put end date. Okay, let's comment these things for now. Okay, I will do pretty printer. I will activate. Okay, this till now is just fine. Everything is fine. So at new house mode. So let's first go into the theory a little bit. Okay. So what all things happen at new? It doesn't have to come before like a, at the end of. Okay. It doesn't matter. You can put in any order. This statement that I have written here. At end of you can put put first. At new you can put second and whatever you want to do. You can do it. Okay. And each time the value of the column changes. The column which you are writing here, right? Column the lines of the code between that at new and end at are executed okay so as soon as the value changes in this column so 990 is the first column right we have sorted it based on so make sure you sort it okay because that would be that's how it will take it otherwise what will happen after 90 if 100 is there then again 90 is there so again two times that uh, logic will get triggered okay at new it will see the change in that it will find a new house number it will again trigger again it will see change it will trigger okay so it will trigger this logic so whenever that happens it will trigger this logic so what do we want till that point till new house number is achieved we want to mm, what we call add up the values add up the expenses right and then we want to print every, uh, that sum okay so let's declare a variable here let's say some house some flat okay I'm just adding a flat so I will give anything some flat type int4 I will keep adding this okay so I will declare a variable. Okay, this is how we declare variable in a web. Simple. Any variable type you have to give a data element. That's all. It's a variable. I think we have discussed these things. So now coming to this. So at new, what will happen? That whenever the first record will come, okay, it will trigger. okay uh, then it will trigger that and rest all logic keep will uh, keep uh, looping it will keep triggering until unless next new house number appears okay so what happens as soon as we will do the sum okay sum flat equal to we'll write a logic sum flat equal to sum flat plus Mm, ls r e s d hyphen flat num so i will we'll explain you how this is working okay see what happens when the first time this iteration this it is not needed let's just remove it okay this lb etc so we are not going to use it so what happens i am going to print the sum okay for that uh, particular house number okay so or uh, some of all the flat numbers that is associated with that house number okay so whenever this new house starts okay it will try to print the value it will try to execute it will first iteration house number is 90 it will start executing it will check the flat number is 100 let's say 102 103 something so it will check initially there is no value in this it is zero it is it has been declared so it will take default value zero so zero plus flat number is equal to some flat 102 it will become then it will see this it will uh, try to execute this let's see I will uh, write some flat house number I will say slash house number comma I will give hyphen just say and some flat I want to print some flat house number and I get that I want to print some whenever there is a new uh, house number I want to do that but uh, I am writing a li logic a little bit uh, wrong here I will see it should come at end of not at new ok because what happens at new will trigger for the first time also p house number is unknown similar name p ok h number is unknown ok sorry my bad h number is not a uh, any variable or parameter it's a part of this lsrst right because we are reading from the table so we have to define this work area here and then you have to give the field name here also same thing okay just check it 
so I'm doing one thing wrong here on new we don't want at last we want right H number RELT no component exists with ILS RELT H number that is weird L R E S T L S R D R E S T okay both number is there H N zero H N O sorry at new this is weird should not give this error L T A D D R L T D R H number is there why it is giving this error I might be doing something wrong I guess 